Uganda's overall household waste generation averages from 0.41 to 0.56 kilograms per person daily, mainly composed of organic material. Hope is rising for Uganda as Sudanese trucks or weight land equipment experts introduce innovative machines to combat water high seth and poor waste management. So we have more than 30 attachments to this uh, system. So, so we can uh, do a num uh, handle a lot of water uh, challenges basically with this uh, same uh, uh, It's not destroyed by, by using this machine. So with the help of this product you can mechanize the maintenance without destroying the land basically. And the disinfectant in nature. In the biodiversity is coming up. Now, these equipment are like waterway equipment to ease access to some places mm -hmm. or even excavate to get out the silt, which I'm totally in agreement on the other side of the channel. The floating islands blocked, block us on the way to Busi Island. I'm speaking of real places and uh, we wait for canoes to come and chop it up bit by bit. And even crossing, we have an old wooden thing for vehicles to cross. After engaging with land specialists in Wakiso district, further discussions with the ministry will ensure the adoption of these technologies to restore Uganda's wetlands. I'm Bantu Machapese Mambo, and I'm Juko for UBC News.